as prey to unbridled sensuality, eagerly craving the practice of every kind of impurity that their desires may demand. But you did not learn Christ in this way. If in fact you have really heard him and have been taught by him, just as truth is in Jesus, revealed in his life and personified in him, that regarding your previous way of life, you put off your old self completely discard your former nature which is being corrupted through deceitful desires and be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind having a fresh untarnished mental and spiritual attitude and put on the new self the regenerated and renewed natural nature and renewed nature Created in God's image, God-like, in the righteousness and holiness of the truth, living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Therefore, rejecting all falsehood, whether lying, defrauding, telling half-truths, spreading rumors, any such as these, speak Truth, each one with his neighbor, for we are all parts of one another, and we are all parts of the body of Christ. Be angry at sin, at immorality, at injustice, at ungodly behavior, yet do not sin. Do not let your anger cause you shame, nor allow it to last Until the sun goes down. And do not give the devil an opportunity to lead you into sin by holding a grudge. Or nurturing anger. Or harboring resentment. Or cultivating bitterness. The thief who has become a believer must no longer steal. But instead he must work hard making an honest living, producing that which is good with his own hands so that he will have something to share with those in need. Do not let unwholesome, foul, profane, worthless, vulgar words ever come out of your mouth. But only such speech as is good for building up others according to the need and the occasion so that it will be a blessing to those who hear you speak. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, but seek to please Him by whom you were sealed and marked, branded as God's own for the day of redemption, the final deliverance from the consequences of of sin. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor, perpetual animosity, resentment, strife, fault finding, and slander be put away from you along with every kind of malice, all spitefulness, verbal abuse, malevolence. Be kind and helpful to one another. Tender-hearted, compassionate, understanding, forgiving one another, readily and freely, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4. Very, very Very, very wonderful, wonderful words. And so we are going to discuss a few of these verses. And 
where, 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 where do I start? First of all, about anger, any type of anger, we do not want to hold on to any anger. And it says, do not, do not allow the sun to go down. Don't go to bed angry. Don't even, before the sun goes down, don't stay angry at all, no matter what it is. It is not pleasing to the Lord, nor is it healthy. Now, I'm going to scroll back up here. Um, I want to talk about verse 7 and 8 here for a minute. Okay, let me get back up here. Um, And it says in verse 7, um, Yet grace... God's undeserved favor was given to each one of us, not indiscriminately, but in different ways in proportion to the measure of Christ's rich and abundant gift. Now, in the NIV, verse 7 says, but to each of us, grace has been given as Christ appointed us. Verse 8 Amplified, therefore it says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive, and he bestowed gifts on men. Okay, the grace that God gives us is undeserved. This tells you right here, you don't have to work for it. You don't have to just just do whatever. It's given. The God's grace, whatever he's given us, is given to us and is undeserved. We could never, never repay God, match God in giving back any praise or thanks in which we do. We give him all the glory and praise and everything. But he puts his grace upon you. He blesses us. Anyway. If his blessings are coming through for whatever your situation is, it's coming. It's coming. We do not have to earn his grace at all. He gives it to us and we're not deserving, but he loves us and he gives it to us. He gives it to each and every one of us in different ways. Not It says not indiscriminately, but in different ways. In proportions to the measure of Christ's rich and abundant gift. And he gave the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. And I want to also go down to um, verse 11 here. Verse 11 and verse 12. And um, I have my NIV um, open and my Amplified. Amplified reading. And his gifts to the church were varied. Now, NIV says, starting, I'll read. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. And I'll read 12. To equip his people for works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up. Now, Amplify goes into it a little bit more. Okay, again, he himself appointed, starting starting um, going down a little bit, he says he himself appointed some as apostles, special messengers, representatives, some as prophets who speak a new message from God to the people, some as evangelists who spread the good news of salvation, and some as pastors and teachers, and to shepherd and guide and instruct. And he did this to fully equip and protect the saints, God's people, for works of service, to build up the body of Christ, the church. So this goes to show you here that there are many, many, many people that spread the words 
the, the doing of the work that Christ did, spreading of the works of the Lord. Different people appointed, but all working together as one to build up, to build up the kingdom. Now, I want you to go down to, in your Bibles, um, verse 23. 23 and 24. And um, we're going to discuss this. 23 reads amplified. And he continually renewed in the spirit of your mind, having a fresh, untarnished mental and spiritual attitude. Okay, we go up 22, that regarding your previous way of life, you put off your old self, completely discard your former nature, which is being corrupted through deceitful desires. So do away with any deceit, these, any deceit, deceitful desires or anything is not pleasing to God. In 23, and in the NIV says, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. Refresh, refresh. Get away any, any desires, any deceit. Just have a fresh, untarnished, mental, spiritual attitude. And that is pleasing to the Lord, we know. Go down to verse 25 here. 25 says, therefore... Rejecting all falsehood, whether lying, defrauding, telling half-truths, spreading rumors, any such as these. Speak truth, each one with his neighbor, for we are all parts of one another, and we are all parts of the body of Christ. 25 in the NIV says, therefore each of you must put off falsehood. And speak truthfully to your neighbor. For we are all members of one body. So, again, any anything amplified, lying, defrauding, half-truth, falsehood, rumors, all of that, we are to do away with. And again, don't go to bed angry. Don't let the sun go down. Do away with that anger. In verse 27 NIV, do not give the devil a foothold. Don't let him, don't let him, don't let him. By you giving in to any evil, any any evilness, any anger, that's the devil to have a foothold. As your spirit dies, your spirit leaves. Then the other spirit, this spirit enters. Because the, the, the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit cannot reside anywhere where the devil resides. So you're letting go of one spirit and letting in the, the bad spirits. And we don't want to do that. 27 Amplified says, And do not give the devil an opportunity to lead you into sin by holding a grudge or nurturing anger or harboring resentment or cultivating bitterness. Bitterness. Now, this is what I spoke of last week um, or week before um, verse 29 here. Um, go down to verse 29. Um, and I'll read it in NIV. It says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Again, Amplify will go over to, and it says, Do not let unwholesomeness, do not let unwholesome, Foul, profane, worthless, vulgar words ever come out of your mouth. But only such speech as is good for building up others according to the need and the occasion so that it will be a blessing to those who hear you speak. So anything to 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 anything vulgar or anything wrong, if anything or anything is coming out of our mouths is to be a blessing, to build each other up, to build each other up. And um, that's what I spoke about, you know, and everyone um, just get together and just um, help each other out in positive relationships, positive relationships, building each other up, um, um, 
lovingly, lovingly guiding people. You know, so just, just, just according to.